A Doniana County Detention Center corrections officer is accused of opening fire on a naked showering inmate. It happened last May. The inmates lawyers claim the officer used excessive force. ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez joins us live from the Doniana County Detention Center with our New Mexico mobile newsroom. Rosemary. Stephanie, that officer who is accused of violating that inmate's civil and constitutional rights is still an employee right here at the Doniana County Detention Center. The inmate's attorneys, as well as the inmate, want something to be done so this doesn't happen again. In a matter of seconds, this scene inside the Doniana County Detention Center quickly turned violent. Get on the ground! Get down on the ground! Punch on the ground, let's go. Body camera footage capturing the moments. According to the lawsuit, another officer had instructed the inmates to go into their cells. But inmate Vicente Sanchez and another inmate stayed in the shower. Sanchez's lawyer says this is because he couldn't hear over the running water. That officer called for help, and according to the lawsuit, that's when corrections officer Brady Cahers opened fire three times, striking Sanchez once in the leg using a less lethal shotgun. His actions on that camera are, are concerning and should be concerning to the jail. An attorney with the New Mexico Prison and Jail Project who is representing the injured inmate said Sanchez was naked and not armed and wasn't acting aggressively. I think the officer's reaction, his tone of voice, the aggression with which he's acting, it's, um, it just looks way out of line for the circumstances that he finds himself in. She says the inmate's mother reached out to them for help. Over a year after the incident, he still lives with pain. The lawsuit claims Officer Cahers willfully and maliciously opened fire knowing there was no physical safety threat. Um, but I think Vicente just felt like particularly violated um, it, from this instance. You know, he's taking a shower that's just a basic task that every one of us gets to complete every day. And he walks out, he gets blasted by a shotgun in the middle of it. I think he was very surprised that it went to this level. And Stephanie, it's important to note that I called this center earlier today. I asked them if that officer is still an employee here. They say he still is an employee. I went ahead and asked them if he's been disciplined in any form. They were not able to comment on any pending litigation. I'm